you know, your store by the end of the day. All right, you guys, today we are going to see what Diablo Tools considers game-changing, innovative technology that nobody's seen before. It's gonna be a bit of a challenge to get up front, but we're gonna do the best we can. This is a packed house, you guys. Uh, we feel like we can take our technology and solve real problems on the job site. And there's real issues with respiratory issues, with bonded products burning people. Uh, there's a lot of things that we can do better and smarter using our influence. And so today we're going to challenge you to help us communicate you know, people don't have to get hurt on the job site. There's a lot of safer ways to do it and get home to their family. So we're super passionate about that. Cool? Cool. All right, so let's get into it. Uh, we're going to start with the first uh, product. Um, who knows what these are? Where's the electricians? Selfie. 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 Why do you use these bits? Because they're the best. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they're fast, right? They're fast. So we hear feedback on there. You know, it's great to do a big pull fast. That's what you want to do. But when we look at the said. designs out here, we don't believe a technical company has come up with it. We believe more of a marketing company. Starting with the threading of it, it is a good pilot point, but the way this thing feeds, you really have to force it down. The cutter systems on these things are one cutter and the bit actually jams up. I don't know if you guys have experienced that. I'm going to try to illustrate it to you. Yep. And then they're made with cast iron, cast iron. Could you imagine making any kind of car part out of cast iron? So we felt like from a technical standpoint, there's a lot of opportunity for us to go after this thing. All right? So guys, help me out here a little bit. How do we illustrate this? So what we have here is pressure-treated lumber, four by six. Um, we're using Makita drills to make some holes into this wood. Three holes, that's the target. Um, we're using handles on our drills, but we will not apply any pressure. Just let the selfie bits do the work. I'm using the new Diablo Speed Demon selfie bit. The size is two and nine sixteenths of an inch. I'm using the Milwaukee switchblade, two and nine sixteenths, seven sixteenths shank. Um, we have the same speed. We're on low uh, and twenty one torque, so everything is the same. Okay, before you start, so we're going to do three quick holes on here. Uh, notice the way it, the bit is going to pull itself in, and um, and then we're actually the way we're on the same line is three quarters of an inch just so you can actually visibly see it, and hopefully you're gonna see the difference of the quality cut. So are you ready, guys? One, two, three, go. Both are pretty brutal drilling, and uh, I think our battery might be a little bit lower on that. But at the end of the day, you can hopefully you can see the, the speed, and we encourage you guys to come here and try this uh, afterwards. So, All right, let's take a closer look at that demonstration, because honestly, I don't know what I was seeing. I mean, the both bits seem to perform. The Diablo performed better. But let's take an up-close look to see what's going on. Maybe we can figure it out together. And that's how you make the potato chips with the Diablo bit. Is that right? Can I see the bit? No, can I see the bit? And instantly, just looking at the shavings on the ground, you can see which bits are a much cleaner cut. So these are the Milwaukee selfie. 
So, so OG's making a good point. You can see that this is a super clean cut. Okay, excellent. So let's go to our circle saw blades. Uh, you know, um, uh, about two years ago, we took the number one selling saw blade in the world and we redesigned it. So to counter this, we put every third tooth what's called tracking point, which is like a rudder on a boat. It keeps the blade cutting straight and true, therefore reducing vibration significantly. What we're going to do is illustrate this. We now put this technology in a six and a half inch tool. And you're going to see not only it lasts longer, but it extends the life of your battery. In fact, a $10 saw blade can extend your battery by 65%. And when power tools companies are talking about lithium ion, they're like, hey, buy this $200, $250 new lithium ion, we can extend the battery life by six or 7%. A $10 saw blade can increase it by 65%, which is dramatic. So guys, to illustrate this, what are we gonna do? Right? Are you ready? One, two, three, go. people cut with uh, an angle grinder before right that's it all right maybe we just show a quick cut so we're not going to bore you with this but about 95% of the market cuts steel with a wheel like this today so. you guys get it you get it so Walker here earlier did a cut with this for less than 30 seconds and this wheel's already lost over an inch of its dimension. So what happens when it starts wearing down? You lose diameter. You lose your diameter. And so what does the user do? Take the guard take off. Guard take the guard off. off. Mm -hmm. This thing can spit up to 15,000 RPM so you take a bad situation you make it worse. And cutting steel, the best way to do it is still in a circular motion. So what we did is we came up with real technology we think it's going to get our customers home safer. And so we're going to compare quickly this carbide solution that's on the marketplace with ceramic blend, cement. Okay? getting painful at this point. So, pretty unbelievable, huh? Just think about it. you can walk around with a $119 saw, a $30 blade, and you can cut rebar, stainless steel, anything you want on a job site. It really makes it a game changer when it comes to cutting metal and steel. So, we're gonna jump back over to angle grinding. We talked a little bit uh, earlier about it. Um, you know, the limitation from a safety standpoint. The other limitation for angle grinders is, everybody knows about the infamous uh, lock nut that has to go on there. And it's usually required a tool that comes with it, which is usually the first thing that's either discarded or lost on the job site. So the lock nut and the tool, very, very frustrating situation. So the solution, which I think many of you are already aware of, is the new X-Lock program uh, on the angle grinder. So just like you saw a quick change interface integrated into cordless drills, you saw it on the reciprocating saws, now it's the quick, quick lock interface or X-Lock interface on the angle grinder. So what does that mean? So if you're out grinding, piece of metal, prepare it, and you want to go to cutting, you can simply just take it, and now you're switching over to your cutting. So no tool, it's click, this will click, and now I can go from cutting, switch over to finishing with a brush. We got flat disc, full range of flat disc. The other exciting thing we're doing in the x -Lock category for Diablo is we're entering the diamond for masonry category. Okay, so again, this is a, a new product for us and we're just excited to bring it out in four and a half and five inch for the x lock platform. But oh wait, don't worry, it's still compatible with the traditional angle grinder. So even though it has that interface for x lock it still can fit on a traditional grinder. So again, exciting category, a full range of premium quality 
accessories for the angle grinder to fit both the X-Lock platform and the traditional four and a half and five inch range. Well, I know, we know that you guys like uh, yeah, to be first in the know. I'm stable. Uh, first, first in the know and uh, about everything. And so this, this is a big one uh, for us uh, as an organization. Usually we kind of stay in our lane. Uh, we're gonna kind of like go way out of our lane on this one. So, uh, and no one knows this by the way. So this is another big uh, first for uh, Diablo. But there's a, there's a big category uh, out there uh, that I think you guys use the product for all day long. And there's a lot of issues, a lot of challenges. And it's growing very quickly, both in commercial and residential. So we're going to show you some of the user feedback on the issues that we hear all day long uh, that, our, that our customers are telling us. And then we'll come back and hopefully we'll convince you that we are solving a lot of these issues. So you guys are ready? Roll video. We're drilling into concrete. You hit rebar or hard aggregate, that head will break apart or twist right off on the bottom head. That took them a while. I've had much harder time than that. And if I were to try another one, I'd probably find some aggregate. Just stop dead. This thing tends to wander because it takes so long. If it hits aggregate, it'll go over that way. So I've spent 20 minutes trying to get a hole. Finally deep enough for the anchor, and then it just wanders off course, and the anchor doesn't even bite. When we started drilling with these bits, we found that our DeWalt bits like to walk a little bit. So we set everything up, said here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna drill a half inch hole, deep size bit, and the DeWalt likes to walk a little bit on you before it starts to dig in. That's a little bit of the bit design, and we found that with a lot of different bits. Some of them like to walk a little bit more than others, and it also depends a little bit on the drill. Typically, what you have is carbide tips are infused in here, and so when they hit the rebar, uh, it's exploding and pulling out. Now, if you think about it, rebar and reinforced concrete is the fastest growing segment in both commercial and residential, one by the, for the economy, but also through regulation. And uh, that's happening through natural disasters, etc. So this is a big opportunity that we're hearing, and labor remains the number one issue in the job site. It's not material, it's not tools, uh, it's it's a labor rate and so it's all about us getting our uh, customers our users to get the job done faster smarter and better and so you're going to see a radical difference for the existing designs on the market today versus number what we're going to be introducing uh, this is the first full line carbide head with a four cutter bits on the marketplace we'll have 27 different profiles going from five and uh, 30 seconds to one and one eight full carbide head, and you'll see this here. Designed to be able to withstand the rebar, take the heat, and perform uh, a hole after hole. So, it's gonna be a challenge, but we're gonna attempt to prove this out to you, but it's gonna be over there. Why are you heating them up? Because I couldn't hear or see anything yeah, so in the back. What we were doing is simulating. When you're drilling in reinforced concrete, as soon as you hit that rebar, it's going to generate extreme heat. And we can see that, but this is the bit that I just drilled with. You can see how hot that is. And that was heating, then cooling it off, and then drilling through the rebar. So we simply use the torch to heat it up to simulate what happens. So you can see, back it up a little bit. Before you're about the same All right. So, I'll let you, I'll give you a head start so they can see. Let me get this out of the way. You don't even need to put it on the rebar. Just put it on the stick. There's a tip. You want me to go all the way through or you want me to go all the way down the rebar? Just go to the rebar. Okay. Alright you guys, I got a question for you. 
what is your favorite kind of video? Do you like the tool videos the best, the job site videos the best, or the in-depth interviews where I go out and I talk to an, an entrepreneur and find out what makes them tick, what's worked and what hasn't worked? You tell me because that's kind of the three things that I like to focus on the most. And if there's something else that you guys want to see, let me know that because I would love to start to bring you guys some content that you guys are hungry for. And with that being said, comment down below. Tell me what you think of this one. I did the best I could to try to get as close to the front as possible, but the room was just so small and jammed with people. We were like this trying to get content, trying to get our shots, trying to get footage. And so hopefully this video turned out okay, but that's up to you to tell me in the comments down below. And that's all I got for you on this one. God bless you guys. Go get them and do me a favor. Hit the like button and share this with your friends. And please subscribe if you haven't already. Oh, and there's a bell notification up in the corner. Hit that notification button. And then anytime I upload a new video, you guys will be notified. And that's it. Besides the fact that I'm going to pop up two videos right here and here for you guys. Check them out. And then we will see you on the next one. God bless you guys again and go get them.